Joey Patone from Universal Atlanta Resort in sunny Florida. And now, here's the star of our show. Give it up for Steve Harvey! Welcome to Family Feud, everybody. I'm Steve Harvey. We got a good one. We got the Spiegel family playing against the Patterson family. All it is for a chance to win lots of cash and a brand new car right there. Well, let's play the game. Give me Janice, give me Dolores. Let's go. <laughs> All right, everybody, we got top six answers are on the board. Besides the bed, Name some place people like to make love. Janice? The car! Car? Oh, yeah, well, You got it, all right, man. In the car! Ah! We got play! They gonna play, okay. Dolores. Woo! Woo! And I know how happy I am right now. <laughs> Rod, size of bed, name some place people like to make love. On the couch! You heard him, didn't you? You heard that, didn't you? Okay. On the couch! <laughs> Jill, you're married to Rod. I am, 14 ain't, years. Ain't nothing quiet at y'all's Ain't nothing house, quiet at our house. <laughs> well, Jill, this is gonna be fun. Besides the bed, name some place people like to make love. I'm gonna say in the shower. In the shower. <gasps> Right, big I'm dog. Woo! Big dog. Let the big dog eat. Yeah. <laughs> right after you belly up. <laughs> <laughs> in, in the shower. <laughs> Lori, you're pregnant. <laughs> Besides the bed. The kitchen table. Wow. Woo! Yeah, baby! Yeah. Woo! I'm hungry. I gotta go to this church. Woo! I gotta go to this church. <laughs> All right. The pregnant lady says the kitchen table's where it jumps off. <laughs> Seth? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, cookie man. <laughs> yeah, got them cookies man. in your ears. Can't On the floor. Yeah, yeah. 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 On the floor. <laughs> One answer left, Spiegel family pastors. Wow. You don't even have a strike. How about outside? <laughs> More specific. On a blanket, outside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you mean by outside? Okay, okay. In the park. <laughs> My girl right here ain't playing with you. Blanket in the park. <laughs> hey, let's move on to question two. Give me Rod, give me Juan. Let's go. Mm. All right, guys, we got top five answers on the board. Name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob. Naked grandma! Naked, huh? I don't want to see that either. I know you're right, okay? Uh, nobody wants to see a naked grandma, but... What are the chances? You breaking in the house and running up into your grandmama naked. <laughs> Looking for a naked grandmama in the house, outside, in the woods, on the blanket. Woo! Grandma! Woo! 
That's the occupant person that's there. One. A dog. Mm. A dog. We gonna play. They gonna play. I'm in shock. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Hey, Reggie, what's up? Am I the youngest looking 40 year old you ever seen? You're 40? Yeah. Yeah, you're pretty. You look yeah. like a little boy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, you married? Nope. Can't get nobody, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody won't get going go out with your little young looking <laughs> self, huh? I get them from 18 yeah. to 60. 18 to 60. 18 you to get 60. them from 18 to 60. 18 to 60. <laughs> All right, Reggie, I'm with you, man. <laughs> Name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. You don't want to see the house empty. Good answer, good answer. Good answer, good answer. You don't want to see the house empty. Quasi. What's that? What's. Let me. That's, 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 that's a new style, right? That's, that's a, a new style. That's a new style, right? That's a new style. Just lay, it, just lay it down. Yeah, there ain't no there. new style. Down. Who told y'all that? <laughs> that ain't <laughs> new. Tie your tie. You want to tie for me? Strikes, mm -hmm. tell me something. Name something a burglar might not want to see when he breaks into a house. <laughs> a police officer. A police officer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. A police officer. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Mr. E.T., how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. You're a pastor? Where are you a pastor at, sir? At Rural Life Ministries in Lakeland, Florida. Mm -hmm. So tell me this, Pastor. Name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. I would say a working alarm system. <laughs> a working oh. alarm system. Oh. We're going to get it started. Hi, Dolores. How you Hello doing? Hello there. So now, name something, and you only got one strike and only got one answer left. Name something a burglar might not want to see when he breaks into a house. Another burglar in there already. Oh. Another burglar in there already. Oh. oh, we got two strikes, Juan. Come on, Juan. Okay, if it's there, you clear the board. If not, Spiegel family, get ready to steal. Name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Three seconds. Hmm. Oh. Spiegel, here's your chance, Jack. Name something a burglar might not want to see when he breaks into a house. All right, we're going to go with a light coming on. <laughs> We're, they're going to go with the light coming on. Yeah. Number five. Yeah. Video. Video camera. Well, we got a good one. Patterson's 94. Spiegel's 91. The goal is 300 points, so don't go away. We'll be right back. Uh-huh. to the feud, everybody. Patterson family, 94. The Spiegel's got 91. Give me Gio, give me Reggie. Let's go. <laughs> Folks, the point values are doubled here, so it's going to be worth a little bit more. We've got the top six answers on the board. Name something romantic that husbands do on Valentine's Day because they have to. Reggie. Give a candy. They give a candy. <laughs> Gio. They buy flowers. They buy flowers. <laughs> Pass or play. They're going to play, Reggie. Hey, Lori, Woo! name me something romantic that husbands do on Valentine's Day because they have to. They buy jewelry. They buy jewelry. Oh. Seth, big fellow. Massage. A massage. Ooh. Boy, we got two strikes already, Janice. Patterson family can get ready to steal. How about take their wife on a date? This woman 
knows her business. Take her wife on a date. He's the right for you. Big Rod, you got two strikes. Your family needs you, big fella. Name something romantic that husbands do on Valentine's Day because they have to. Spend lots of time with the wife. Spend a lot of time with the wife. Name something romantic that husbands do on Valentine's Day because they have to. Make love. Yeah! Think it's that? Now, that, that came from all the fellas, Mr. Yes. Lord. I'm a little scared of that okay. one because it says, because they have to. Well, yeah, they that's, have that's to. The part For that's me, scared. he has to. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Lord. Yes. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. They have to because of me. Because they have to. <laughs> Let's see what the remaining answers are. Number two. Number five. Number six. See, that's what you, a guy has to do. You don't gotta make a guy. Spiegel's 261, Patterson's 94, but it's still anybody's game, so don't go away. We'll be right back. You're still in it, man. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. Spiegel family, 261. Patterson family, 94. Give me Lori, give me crazy. <laughs> Folks, here we go. Point values have tripled, so that means someone could win it this game right here. Top four answers are on the board. Name something you always run out of in the bathroom. Quasi. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. E.T., let's go, man. Name something you always run out of in the bathroom. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. One strike, Dolores. We're looking for something that you always run out of in the bathroom. Shampoo, soap. Good answer, Ma. Shampoo. Yeah! Juan, we need you, man. Tissue. <laughs> Tissue. Tissue, tissue, tissue. Yeah! Good answer. Only one strike. I'm happy for you, man. I want all of them to be up there tell you the truth. Reggie, Steve, I think the last answer got to be towels. You run out of yeah. towels. Yeah. We have two strikes. This is a tough one. There's a lot of stuff in there, man. Two strikes. If it's there, though, Quasi, you win. If it's not there, the other team can steal and win. Air freshener. Air freshener. We all look in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. 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 Lord, not now. I've been oh, in yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, yeah. oh, not the freshener. Not the freshener. <laughs> Air freshener for the win. Oh. Oh, that's it. That's the Spiegel. one. <laughs> Spiegel family, uh, name something you always run out of in the bathroom. Hot water. That's right. That's right. Big family, baby. For the win, hot water. Everybody, the Spiegel family won the game, and it's time to play. Money. A 
before we start, here's someone who'd like to wish you luck. Beagle family from Mount Dora, Florida. We're your friends and family, and we're here to cheer on. You're going to win big. Woo! Hey, Lori, Jill is uh, off stage. She can't see or hear any of your answers. I'm going to ask you five questions in about 20 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer. If you can't think of something, just say pass. If we have enough time, we'll get back to it. And then if you and Jill together come up with 200 points, look in that little red light there. Tell everybody what you're going to win. 20,000 big ones! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. All right, you ready? I'm ready. OK, 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. How many pounds heavier are you than the weight on your driver's license? 15. Name something little kids just love to ride. Um, merry-go-round. Name something that a lot of people start but don't finish. Pass. What takes you the longest to do in the morning? Um, blow dry my hair. Name a beverage that goes great with pie. Milk. <laughs> okay. I said, how many pounds heavier are you than the weight you put on your driver's license? You said? 15, survey set. Okay. Name something little kids just love to ride. You said? Merry-go-round, survey set. That's good. Name something that a lot of people start but don't finish. You said the answer. It's nothing. That's, that's a good answer there. I said, what takes you the longest to do in the morning? You said? Blow dry your hair, survey said. <laughs> Name a beverage that goes great with pie, you said? Milk. Survey said? Oh, that's a good one. You can pull it out. Hey, let's bring out Jill. Jill, this is doable. This is doable. Okay. She put up 84 points. All okay. you need is 116 for the win. All right. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. I'm going to say try again. You give me another answer. Going to be a little bit tougher this time, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. You ready? Yep. All right, let's remind everyone of Lori's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. How many pounds heavier are you than the weight you put on your driver's license? 20. Name something little kids just love to ride. Tricycle. Name something that a lot of people start but don't finish. Diet. What takes you the longest to do in the morning? Hair. Try again. Do my makeup. Name a beverage that goes great with pie. Milk. Try again. Coffee. Yeah. You got a chance, baby. Oh, my God, Lori. I asked you, how many pounds heavier are you than the weight you put on your driver's license? You said... 20 pounds, survey said. Wow. Number one answer was 10 pounds. Name something little kids just love to ride. You said? Tricycle, that was my favorite. Survey said. Woo. Number one answer was a pony or a horse. I said name something that a lot of people start but don't finish. You said? Diet, man, how true is that? Survey said. Number one answer was a book. I said, what takes you the longest to do in the morning? You said, your makeup. Survey said, mm. Mm. Number one answer was wake up, get out of bed. Then I said, name a beverage that goes great with pie. You said, coffee. I absolutely love coffee with my pie. Survey said, Number one answer was milk. Milk was the number one answer. You almost got there. Man, you almost got there. Well, that's $5 a point for a total of $785. But the Spiegel family, they're coming right back to play another family on the field. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks.